Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you about a word in Python that literally does nothing. And that keyword is pass. Anytime we use the keyword pass, we are saying do nothing. <laughs> it's, it's really weird at first, but I'll explain why it's useful. So as an example, we can go up here and we can say pass. We can just put the keyword pass anywhere in here. We'll put it inside of the if statement here, and I'll even put one after the if statement as well. And heck, why not put one at the end? However, when we run this program, it works exactly the same. We can search for something and it'll tell us when it found it. So why in the world would I want to use this keyword pass? Well, first you should know about it because you're probably going to see it and I don't want you guys to be confused on what that word means. But the second thing is you can use it as a placeholder until you have a, a better solution for the problem. So it's the equivalent of saying, hey, this does not do anything right now but we're going to implement this in the future. It's a little bit more clear to developers when you explicitly say, hey, I'm gonna pass on filling out this part right here, but I'm gonna get back to that, rather than just leaving it blank. And on top of that, sometimes if you need to leave it blank, you have to use the keyword pass. So let me show you an example of this. First, let me just get rid of all of these passes in here. And we have this if statement. Let's just go ahead and say, hmm, I'm not sure what to put there. Let's just put pass. And when we run this, our program works and we can run it, it's happy. It doesn't really do anything because we didn't implement the, the if statement. However, it runs. Now watch this, if I get rid of pass and run it now, look, we're getting an issue because it's expecting an indent. It's expecting a line here. And even if we put that indent there, we run this, it's still not going to work. So anytime it's expecting an indent or expecting some line of code, but you don't have anything to put there, you just use the keyword pass. Another common example of this is with classes and functions, which we haven't even talked about this yet, but you can say something like def, do something, and if you're not ready to make this, you can just say pass. Or you might have class test, and you're not really sure what you wanna to do to implement that, so you can just say pass. Inside this if statement, we'll say pass. And all of this code should be fine. You should be able to use it. And it's not gonna do anything, but it allows you to run the code. So that's all I got for you guys on pass. Pretty simple. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, so I'm just gonna move on to the next one. But before we go, I'm gonna put this back to how it was and say language was found. All right, there we go. We have a search algorithm and there's no passes involved, so we're all good. All right, let's get started with the next video.